Welcome to I Know What You Did Last Shift, where we show everyone why police are the standing army our founding fathers warned us against. Today's video takes us to A Young City's YouTube channel. Make sure to check out his channel and subscribe to his channel. His channel link and video link will be in the pinned comment. Make sure to let him know I sent you. In a video posted on March 20th, 2023, A Young City noticed four St. Mary's County Sheriff deputies interacting with a man sitting on a bench at a bus stop. The original call was for a man dozed off and sleeping. The interaction went down like this. Marker, do you have an ID on you? You ain't got to give them to him if you don't want to, bro. I'm not in the family. I'm not in the family. Freedom, freedom of speech. You ain't got to give him your info, bro. Do you have your ID on bro. you at all? Yeah. Trust me. That's fine. Can I have it? Are you being... He, he can't remember your last name. Bro. You're not being suspected to commit Marco, no crime, bro. Too. I just can't remember your last name. He ain't know it, though. You ain't being suspected to commit no crime, sure, bro. last name, then. You ain't got to give him your info. Right. Freedom of speech. Yes, I'm saying here reporting it. You have the right to be here. You have the right to report. We have the right to interfere with the investigation. I'm not What's interfering. Your last name, Marco? Freedom of speech. A sheriff deputy can't help but pull the same good old do not interfere, interfere this, interfere that whenever a member of the public is recording, exercising their First Amendment right. In the case law of Houston versus Hill, it states that the Supreme Court found a city ordinance prohibiting verbal abuse of police officers to be unconstitutionally overbroad and a criminalization of protected speech. A young city wasn't even being verbally abusive. He was just informing the man who most likely doesn't know he has constitutional rights to not answer questions by police. Of course, the police don't want people to know their rights. The deputy sheriff tried to act like he recognizes the First Amendment, but pulls the interfere line. The right to freedom of speech allows individuals to express themselves without government interference or regulation. The Supreme Court requires the government to provide substantial justification for interference with the right of freedom of speech when it attempts to regulate the content of the speech. Man, I can't remember your last name. Did you take anything today, Marco? Okay, is that it? Okay, I'm just making sure. Again, we're here to check on you, so I'm gonna just want to make sure you didn't take anything else. I can't hear you, man. Well, yeah, but he. He's got, to, he's got to talk to you, man. Yeah, we're just trying to get your last name. None of, none of them don't remember your last name, so. We're just trying to check on you, make sure you're okay, man. You got a couple calls saying that you were, you were dozing off, and that, that was it, man. Yep. We're just trying to make sure you're good. That's it. Do you need an ambulance or anything? Hey, man, I'm just asking a question. You, you, you like one? the bus? Was it mommy number two? What, what was it? <laughs> I think I heard you. No, we're not going to do that. Waiting for the bus? Yeah. Okay, where are you, where are you trying to go? Because you were asleep. Apparently, you've been here for like a long time. Uh, well, that's what the caller said. And if you were asleep, you probably wouldn't know how long you've been here. You know what I'm saying? If you don't talk. 30 minutes to the bus. 30 minutes? Do you live down here? You were sleeping. They tried to wake you up several times, and they said you wouldn't wake up. So. Did you see the bus come? We just got here. Yeah. We just got oh. Here. So could we just get your last name so that we can put you in the computer so that next time somebody calls, we, we can say, oh, that's just Marco. Is it okay? <laughs> I don't remember your last name. I'm terrible at names. I remember a face like no other. How much your date of birth? What? How old are you? What are you? What are you? How old are you? <laughs> okay. 
Somebody's gonna call back and we're gonna be out here to bug you again, okay? To check on you. Okay? That's good. That's it. Do I have some papers? Like rolling papers? No. No, more. I don't. Alright. Hey, what's your name and badge number? Deputy Chadi, ID number 398. 398. Deputy still uh, 414. I'm talking to him. Okay, I'm just making sure. EFC winner. ID number 398. No, I'm talking to him. What's it? He, I, ain't, I ain't get his name. You got three, you yeah, got three you. names and ID Deputy numbers. Deputy Chadi, ID number 398. Alright. Tell me before, man. All right, when I shrug my shoulders, when you ask me, do I know what's going on? Mm -hmm. That means no. Stop asking me more questions. I don't know nothing. Okay. Yeah, stairwell. Go on, get on the body, all right? Keep asking me damn questions. They keep talking about, are oh, you interfering? Freedom of speech is not interfering. You want to know, Sherwell? With them. Uh. Yeah, bro, you're not being suspected to commit no crime, bro. That's why I told you, you ain't, you ain't had to say nothing to him. Right nothing. The fuck? Man, get out of here. I said this man. Time for final thoughts. Now, I don't know why the dispatchers thought it was a good idea to send police to respond for a man sleeping dozed off. They should have sent an ambulance instead of police. If the dispatchers had half a brain, they would know sending police to any call increases chances of escalating situations. There's no situation cops can't make worse. Police across America should really brush up and learn laws before they try to enforce it. Since when do cops need someone's ID to determine if they're sick, when in reality, despite the cops blaming about, oh, we need your ID so in case we get more calls about you, we'll know it's you. Nah, really, what they wanted to do was get the man's ID to see if he had any warrants. Remember, police are not your friends and not there to help you. Let me know what you think about the entire situation. If you have a video of your own you want covered, video submit form is in the description and pinned comment as well. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe.